Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of How Government Works in India. Today we are going to delve into the Indian government and understand the role of the legislative branch. My name is Kishan Rabdia and you are watching the Inside India Politics channel. The legislative branch of the government in India is known as the Parliament of India. It is located in the heart of the country's capital, New Delhi, and is the center of all legislative activities in the country. The Parliament of India consists of two houses, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. The Lok Sabha, also known as the House of the People, is the lower house of the parliament and is directly elected by the citizens of India. It has a maximum strength of 552 members, with 530 being elected from the states and 20 from the union territories. The Rajya Sabha, on the other hand, is the upper house and is composed of 250 members, of whom 238 are elected by the elected members of the legislative assemblies of the states and union territories and 12 are nominated by the President of India. Both houses of the parliament have equal powers except in the case of money bills which must be passed by the Lok Sabha. The parliament has the power to make laws on a wide range of subjects including taxes, defense, foreign policy and social welfare. It also plays a crucial role in the appointment of the president, vice president and other key members of the government as well as in the impeachment of the president and vice president. I had a chance to speak with some experts in the field and they explained the importance of the parliament in the functioning of the Indian government. The parliament is the cornerstone of our democratic system. It ensures that the government is accountable to the people and that the laws are made in the best interests of the citizens. The parliament is not just a legislative body but also a platform for the people's representatives to raise important issues and bring about positive change in the society. It is indeed a great privilege for the citizens of India to have a representative government where the parliament plays a crucial role in making laws and ensuring accountability. So, how does the parliament make laws in India? The process of law making in the Parliament of India starts with the introduction of a bill. A bill can be introduced by a member of either house of the parliament or by the government. Once the bill is introduced, it goes through various stages of discussion and debate in both houses of the parliament. During this stage, members of the parliament can suggest changes and modifications to the bill. The process of law making in the Parliament of India is very democratic. All members of the parliament regardless of their political affiliations have an equal opportunity to participate in the discussions and debates on the bill. The process of law making also involves consultation with various stakeholders including subject matter experts, civil society organizations and the general public. This ensures that the laws are made transparently and inclusively. Presenter, the Parliament of India truly represents the diversity of the country and provides a platform for the representatives of the people to raise their voices and make laws that are in the best interests of the citizens. After the bill has been passed by both houses of the parliament, it goes to the President of India for his assent. Once the bill has received the president's assent, it becomes a law. So, what are some of the important functions of the Parliament of India? Apart from making laws, the Parliament of India plays a crucial role in the functioning of the government in several other ways. One of the important functions of the parliament is to approve the budget presented by the government. The parliament has the power to scrutinize the budget and make recommendations for improvement. This ensures that the government is spending public funds in a responsible and accountable manner. I had a chance to speak with some experts in the field and they explained the importance of the parliament in overseeing the government's financial activities. The parliament plays a critical role in ensuring that the government is transparent and accountable in its financial dealings. The budget approval process allows the members of the parliament to ask questions and seek clarifications from the government. The parliament also plays a role in monitoring the implementation of government policies and programs. Members of the parliament can raise questions and demand answers from the government, which helps in ensuring that public resources are being used effectively and efficiently. The Parliament of India truly serves as a watchdog for the government and ensures that the citizens' interests are protected. Another important function of the parliament is to conduct investigations into important matters. The parliament has the power to form committees to investigate various issues and make recommendations for improvement. This helps in ensuring that the government is accountable and transparent in its functioning. So, what are the two houses of the Parliament of India? The Parliament of India is comprised of two houses, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. The Lok Sabha, also known as the House of the People, is the lower house of the parliament. It is composed of elected representatives from the various states and union territories of India. The number of seats in the Lok Sabha is determined based on the population of each state and union territory. I had a chance to speak with some experts in the field and they explained the importance of the Lok Sabha in the Indian political system. The Lok Sabha is the house of the people and represents the voice of the citizens of India. 
members of the Lok Sabha are elected through a democratic process, and they serve as the representatives of the people. The Lok Sabha plays a critical role in the lawmaking process in India. All bills must be passed by both houses of the parliament, including the Lok Sabha, to become a law. This ensures that the laws are made with the representation and consent of the people. Presenter, the Lok Sabha truly serves as a link between the citizens and the government. The Rajya Sabha, also known as the Council of States, is the upper house of the parliament. It is composed of representatives from the states and union territories, but unlike the Lok Sabha, the representatives are not directly elected by the people. Instead, they are elected by the state legislative assemblies. So, what role does the President of India play in the parliament? The President of India plays an important role in the functioning of the parliament. The President has the power to call for special sessions of the parliament and to address the parliament. This helps to ensure that the parliament is meeting regularly and that the government is able to communicate its plans and policies to the citizens of India. I had a chance to speak with some experts in the field, and they explained the role of the president in the Indian political system. The president of India is the constitutional head of the country and serves as a symbol of unity and integrity. The president's role in the parliament helps to ensure that the government is accountable to the citizens and that the parliament is functioning effectively. The president also has the power to appoint the prime minister and other key members of the government. This helps to ensure that the government is able to function effectively and make decisions that are in the best interest of the citizens of India. The president of India plays a crucial role in the functioning of the parliament and the government, and helps to ensure that the country is being governed effectively and in the best interest of the citizens. So, what role does the president of India play in the parliament? The president of India plays an important role in the functioning of the parliament. The president has the power to call for special sessions of the parliament and to address the parliament. This helps to ensure that the parliament is meeting regularly and that the government is able to communicate its plans and policies to the citizens of India. The president's role in the parliament helps to ensure that the government is accountable to the citizens and that the parliament is functioning effectively. All laws must be passed by both houses of the parliament, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, in order to become a law. This ensures that the laws are made with the representation and consent of the people. The lawmaking process in India begins with the introduction of a bill in either the Lok Sabha or the Rajya Sabha. The bill is then debated and discussed by the members of the parliament, and changes can be made based on the recommendations of the members. Once the bill has been approved by both houses of the parliament, it is then sent to the president of India for his or her assent. If the president assents to the bill, it becomes a law. If the president has any objections, the bill can be sent back to the parliament for reconsideration. The lawmaking process in India is a democratic and inclusive process, where the representation and consent of the people is ensured through the participation of the members of the parliament. So, what happens when there is a disagreement between the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha? This is a common scenario in the Indian parliament, where the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha have different opinions on a bill. In such cases, the parliament can resolve the disagreement through a joint session, where members of both houses of the parliament come together to discuss and resolve the disagreement. I had a chance to speak with some experts in the field, and they explained how the parliament resolves disagreements. A joint session is called when there is a disagreement between the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha on a bill. During the joint session, the members of both houses come together to discuss and resolve the disagreement. In a joint session, the decision is taken by a majority vote, where the vote of the Lok Sabha carries more weight as it is directly elected by the people. This helps to ensure that the final decision reflects the will of the people. The joint session of the parliament is an important mechanism for resolving disagreements and ensuring that the final decision reflects the will of the people. So, what role do the members of parliament play in representing the people of India? The members of parliament are elected representatives of the people, and they play a crucial role in representing the views and concerns of the people. The members of parliament are elected through regular elections, and they serve for a term of five years. During this time, they represent the views and concerns of their constituents in the parliament. I had a chance to speak with some experts in the field, and they explained the role of the members of parliament in representing the people. The members of parliament are elected to represent the views and concerns of their constituents in the parliament. They play an important role in ensuring that the voices of the people are heard and that their concerns are addressed by the government. In addition to representing the views and concerns of their constituents, the members of parliament also play an important role in scrutinizing the work of the government. They hold the government accountable for its actions and ensure that the government is serving the people of India effectively. The members of parliament play a crucial role in representing the views and concerns of the people and holding the government accountable for its actions. So, what role do the members of parliament play in representing the people of India? 
The members of parliament are elected representatives of the people, and they play a crucial role in representing the views and concerns of the people. The members of parliament are elected through regular elections, and they serve for a term of five years. During this time, they represent the views and concerns of their constituents in the parliament. The members of parliament are elected to represent the views and concerns of their constituents in the parliament. They play an important role in ensuring that the voices of the people are heard and that their concerns are addressed by the government. In addition to representing the views and concerns of their constituents, the members of parliament also play an important role in scrutinizing the work of the government. They hold the government accountable for its actions and ensure that the government is serving the people of India effectively. The members of parliament play a crucial role in representing the views and concerns of the people and holding the government accountable for its actions. So, what role does the Speaker of the Lok Sabha play in the Indian Parliament? The Speaker of the Lok Sabha is an important figure in the Parliament and plays a crucial role in ensuring the smooth functioning of the Parliament. The Speaker of the Lok Sabha is elected from among the members of the Lok Sabha and serves for a term of five years. During this time, the Speaker presides over the sessions of the Lok Sabha and ensures that the proceedings are conducted in an orderly and efficient manner. The Speaker of the Lok Sabha is responsible for maintaining discipline and order during the sessions of the Lok Sabha. They ensure that the members follow the rules and procedures of the parliament and that the proceedings are conducted in an orderly and efficient manner. In addition to maintaining discipline and order, the Speaker of the Lok Sabha also plays an important role in resolving disputes between the members of the Lok Sabha. They have the power to decide on matters such as the admissibility of questions and motions, and they make rulings on procedural matters. The Speaker of the Lok Sabha plays a crucial role in ensuring the smooth functioning of the parliament and resolving disputes between the members of the Lok Sabha. So, what role do the committees in the Indian Parliament play in the legislative process? The committees in the Indian Parliament play a crucial role in the legislative process and serve as an important mechanism for the members of Parliament to review and scrutinize legislation. The committees in the Indian Parliament are made up of members of Parliament and they serve as a forum for the members to review and scrutinize legislation. The committees are responsible for examining proposed legislation, conducting investigations, and making recommendations to the Parliament. The committees in the Indian Parliament play an important role in examining proposed legislation in detail. They provide an opportunity for the members of Parliament to review the legislation and make recommendations to improve it. This helps to ensure that the legislation is well crafted and meets the needs of the people of India. In addition to examining proposed legislation, the committees in the Indian Parliament also play an important role in conducting investigations. They have the power to summon witnesses, request information, and hold hearings to gather information and make recommendations to the parliament. The committees in the Indian parliament play a crucial role in the legislative process by examining proposed legislation, conducting investigations, and making recommendations to the parliament. Let's take a look at some numbers to see the impact of the committees in the Indian parliament on the legislative process. According to data, the committees in the Indian parliament have reviewed over 200 pieces of legislation in the past five years. Out of these, a significant number of recommendations made by the committees have been adopted by the parliament. The committees in the Indian parliament have played a vital role in ensuring that the legislation is well crafted and meets the needs of the people of India. The data shows that a significant number of recommendations made by the committees have been adopted by the parliament, which demonstrates the importance and impact of the committees on the legislative process. The committees in the Indian Parliament also provide an important platform for members of Parliament to engage with stakeholders, including members of the public, experts, and other relevant organizations. This helps to ensure that the legislation is informed by a wide range of perspectives and reflects the needs and interests of the people of India. The data shows that the committees in the Indian Parliament play a crucial role in the legislative process by reviewing legislation, making recommendations, and engaging with stakeholders to ensure that the legislation is well crafted and meets the needs of the people of India. And that's a wrap for today's episode on the legislative branch of the government in India. I hope you found this information helpful and informative. The legislative branch plays a crucial role in shaping the laws and policies that govern our country, and it's important for us to understand how it works and what it does. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for more educational and informative videos. Thank you for watching, subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video Judiciary of the Government in India. Bye.